And good afternoon and welcome back to WKYT News. As we continue at 12:30, Bill Bryant, Rebecca Smith is in today for Barbara. Yeah, the big hole in the middle of downtown Lexington, known as the Center Point Project, of course, is at the center of controversy again. A huge piece of equipment is going to be needed to come in and help with the construction, but city fathers have balked because of a lot of traffic concerns. And we have more on that. WKOT Sean Moody tracking the situation, joining us now with our top story at 1230. Well, the city has issued the building permit for the shell of the office tower and the restaurant. Now the city and developers are trying to find a time when they can move a big crane into the pit. Jerry Fawcett spends a lot of time walking around the area. I'm seeing it from when they started from scratch to what it is now. She's curious to see what will happen next. Getting the crane in won't be simple. A city traffic engineer says Main Street between Limestone and Upper would have to close for 42 hours. Because this is such a busy area in the heart of downtown, city officials are having a hard time trying to figure out a weekend that will work. It'd be interesting to see how they do it. You know. The city has granted a building permit for a $24.4 million project, including the shell of the 12 floor building and the Jeff Ruby restaurant. It's been a long time growing, and I'm interested to see what it all brings. And the traffic engineer said Vine Street would also have to close for 42 hours on the next clear weekend. At this point, it's not clear when either of those moves will happen. In Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. John, thank you. Just a little background. It's been six years since the Centerpoint block was demolished. Construction started last December.